this tutorial and give you some background of where it came from which will help you get started with building your own web pages and customizing your MySpace profiles and other documents. You should have some knowledge of internet and surfing websites, any text editor and of course 5 minutes of your time. So let's start discovering HTML. Necessity is the mother of invention. A group of scientists wanted a system to share documents in a format so that they can easily understand the type of information sent so that it is formatted in such a way that it is easier to read. Just take an example of this newspaper. Don't you find it easier to locate information because the headings are written larger in size and the paragraph is written smaller? That is why they created HTML. Without an HTML specification, the text would look like this with no difference between formatting, size and style. Hypertext markup language. So it is all about marking up the text to a specific type. Everything in HTML, every text, every image, every table surround, is surrounded with a tag around it with an opening tag and a closing tag determines how this text is going to be. An HTML page starts with an HTML tag. This is the opening tag for our page. And remember everything in an HTML should, if it has an open opening tag, it should also have a corresponding closing tag to it. We'll have to close it like this. Now everything that comes in between these two tags is HTML. After HTML, we have one more tag in it, head. Let me just close this tag also. And then we have the body tag. Now what is the difference between the head and the body tag? Body tag is what is the information that is displayed in the browser. And in the head tag we have all the information about the document like the meta keywords and the title of the page. So if you want to put a title you always put it in the head tag of the document. My first HTML page. This will show up in the title bar of the internet browser that you are using. And anything that is written in the body tag would display in the body of the browser. Let us just try typing something without a tag here. So tag pogo. We'll save it. Now uh, an HTML document always has an HTML extension to it. So I'll save it in my documents as simple dot dot HTML and save it. Now I'll open my browser. I'll go to file, open file, browse to my documents, simple. Now here it is. Here is our first document that we created. Now remember that we typed in my first HTML page in the title bar right here. So anything that is there in the head does not display in the body of the web page. But it is some in this is some information about the web page which is kept under the head tags. The body tag is something which specifies what is going to be displayed over here. So in our example we type hello tech pogo which is now being displayed here. But if you notice there is no style associated with it. Let us just put a tag around it. We'll call it h1 tag which is heading 1. And let us see what happens. We'll save it. We'll come out come to our document and refresh the current page. There you go. As soon as you specified that that this tag is a heading, the browser has changed the way it looks.
Now let us create heading number two. This is heading two. Save it. Refresh it. There you go. Heading 1 is larger than heading 2. Now let us try for heading 3. This is heading 3. Save it. Refresh it. There you go. Heading 3 is even more smaller. What about heading 4? Is heading 4. And also create heading 5. And uh, put a closing tag to it. And then heading 6. That's it. These are the number of headings that you can have in a single HTML page. Let us see how it looks. Save it. Refresh it. Here it is. Heading 1 is the largest one. Heading 2 is a bit smaller. Heading 3 is even smaller and so on and so forth. Now let us put some text around it in a paragraph this is a paragraph and it should and let us see how it how it looks in the browser let us save it refresh it there you go remember the example of the newspaper the headings are big and the paragraph is just the normal text this was the most basic example of how headings and tagging works in an HTML document we have also noticed that an HTML document is divided into two parts. One is the head and the other one is the body. So everything that we type in the body part is displayed here in the body of the browser and everything that is there in the head part is the information basically which is about the HTML document. It could be about the title bar or it could be some meta keywords and information for search engine. Sometimes we also want to put some JavaScript code into your document. That also comes between these head tags. Now if you want to change the color of the background of the page, you should specify that in the body tag. So we will type space BG, BG color as yellow and save it. And go to our browser and refresh the page. There you go. The background color of your page changes. This is exactly how you change background colors in your MySpace profiles. Now what I would suggest you is to go to www.w3schools.com which has got a very good tutorial of HTML. In fact, that is the place where I've learned HTML from. We will be discussing HTML in our blog Tech Pogo. So if you don't want to miss future lessons, you can go to techpogo.com and click on get email updates and whenever we'll post new article and new tutorial You'll get that directly in your email. Thank you for watching and have a good day.